Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we're taking a look at when women get rejected and men stop simping. But let's dive right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. You guys know we're huge Cowboys fans. Yes, they lost to the Dolphins last night. But my husband, he's, he's doing okay. He has his wife, you know, when he has me. He obviously doesn't need the Cowboys. He's gonna be fine, right? Tell them, tell them that you're okay. Just tell him, give me a kiss. No, I mean, they're the only thing that makes me have happy to deal with you. Andrew, Andrew, give me a kiss. No. Make it okay. Here. Give me a kiss. Here, here, here. What? <laughs> okay, here's your kiss. Where's she? Yeah, that's all you get. Mans was in his zone after that loss. She doesn't understand the pain nearly as much as he does. No one's ever met a woman that she's been the bad girlfriend. I've been or a bad girlfriend. Bad I have to say that. I've seen women hold themselves accountable as many times as I've seen Tottenham win a trophy in my lifetime. He sounds traumatized. What made you the bad girlfriend? Because I wasn't respectful. In terms of? I was just doing my own thing, I was rude. Are you an aggressive girlfriend? I was aggressive when I was younger. Beating guys up? I went, no, I beat, I ran him over. Have you been serious? Yeah, I was a psychopath. No one was a psychopath. No, I was, I healed. They just learn how they just learn how to put on a nice outfit. Wow. No, they don't. They can heal. Mm, that's what a psychopath would say. I'm healed now. It's done. It's in the past. What's in the past is in the past. Hey, at least she's taking some accountability for her past actions. This one is for the boys. The five secrets to happiness. Number one, find a woman who can make you laugh. Number two, find a woman who can cook. Number three. Find a woman who really listens to you. Number four, find a woman who is amazing in bed. And number five, and this is the most important one, make sure that these four women do not find out about each other. <laughs> Good one. This man speaks with both humor and wisdom. What would you rate your ex-girlfriend? I'd give her like a 5.2. Settled, big time. To me, a zero is just hideous. Disgusting. You would not look at him. A one is like, eh, maybe Down syndrome. I don't know if I can say that on camera. I'm sorry. A two is you're ugly. A three is like, eh, like I wouldn't be seen with you, but I talk to you. Yeah. A four definitely. Five average. Nine times out of ten, you're gonna see a five everywhere you go. A six slightly above average. You know she's cute. She's adorable. Seven. Now now we're getting there. An eight half my babies. A nine. Gorgeous. I mean, like Megan Fox. Interesting man. Hey, his scale was pretty spot on if you ask me. What would you rate your ex? I have dated and dealt with people that I didn't actually were attracted to them when I first met them. But as I got to know them, I did become attracted to them. So that can happen too. You know, this I is just... what women do they play games with the possibility of sex. The guys you went out with, were you paying all the bills? Were you paying for everything? 100%? No. No. Then it's. <laughs> it's. I mean, you said this. Not, well, not saying that I expect for them to pay all the time because I'm a nice girl. I'm from California. You know, we're. It has nothing not to do with being there. I mean, it's not. No. Look. This is why so many women in your age range are going to be destined to be alone because you're still trying to make, you're still trying to pretty it up. What you did was you ran game, you mm -hmm. hustled, and you deceived dudes. And then you wonder why these guys get out of here and become mean and boys. Mm -hmm. Because they run into women like you playing games. She literally just admitted to playing games with men and well, she got what's coming for her. Did you date someone who's plus size? I don't know what my answer is if I'm being honest with you. Dating is overrated in general. How is if I can't trust a regular girl, why would I trust a plus size girl? So you're saying that plus size girls are less trustworthy than a regular girl? I'm saying girl? girls are less trustworthy than the other human being species. So you're saying that plus size girls should not be trusted because of their size? Plus size girl, regular size girl, it don't matter. You can't trust them, can't date them, can't do nothing. Are you into guys? Nah, you can't even trust them. You, you can't trust humans in general. Like. She was trying so hard to get him to roast plus-sized girls, but instead he threw shots at all women. For somebody to tell me that to my face, I don't yeah, think... Yeah, hold on. Do you want a guy taller than you? Huh? 
Huh? Do you want a guy that's taller than you? That's taller than me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> is the man that you're with taller than you? Uh, yes. Okay. Does he make more money than you? He does. Is he more competent than yourself? In what capacity? Is he, I guess, has a strong... A better awareness of the world and how things really work. He's more competent than yourself. He's, he's able to lead and guide you. Well, he's older than me, so yeah, I would expect so that. So yes, and and you want these things, right? Is he stronger than you physically? Uh, yes. So how about this? <laughs> you need to put your selfish desires aside and go ahead and date a guy that makes the same amount of money as you, as tall as you, so y'all can share clothes and get along. <laughs> and go ahead and get a guy that's at your level of competence. What? Well, how does that sound? Um, abrasive. But no, 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 no. <laughs> how does that sound? Foolish, doesn't it? No, it just sounds like you love who you love. You don't get to choose who you love. Like, you know, sometimes you date people that are as tall as you, or as tall as you or shorter than you. And like, if you love them, then, look, you know, look, look, hold on. Look. I was in the middle of no, what I was saying. No, because you're a bunch of bull <laughs> You're not going to love the man and actually give a about him unless he meets certain prerequisites. Mm -hmm. He's got to be at a point where he maybe he's got to be tall enough for you, make enough money for you, have more, enough confidence for you, have enough ambition for you. You see a future with him. Then you get to go ahead and give a personality. But he's got to meet these requirements first. Okay? No. Why does it have to be the men making all the money and being the boss? Can't women provide something as well? They think they can survive without a man, be happy. But then when they're like 40, 50, 60 and have no kids and they're just alone, like, I don't think they are happy. That's the same thing with men. Like, aren't men, like, all sad? Like, I swear, most guys I talk to, it's like, oh, what's your, like, long-term goal? And it's like... I want to have a house and I want to have a wife and I want to like support them. And I'm like, that's your only goal and aspiration. Like, I that's feel like beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's amazing. Cool. But I mean, I think everyone like really cherishes like relationships and stuff. And I think it's great. Like, obviously, no one wants to be alone. But, but why else are we here on earth if it's not to be with someone else and procreate and have kids? Yeah, I'm not arguing that. Well, you, you quite literally are yeah. arguing against it. So she basically just said it without giving any reasons or anything. Side, I'm gonna get jacked again. And, uh, oh yeah? Hello. You already are jacked. No, like super jacked. You always say this. Like, mm, like trend bologna sandwiches. Like trend bologna sand No, I'm not gonna actually be trended. I have never. That's not. Yeah. Have you ever done charms? Never. Never. You're lying. I saw them no, in your I, fridge. I've done, I've done peptides. I've tried peptides before, but never SARMs. <laughs> you are a little crazy. I'm but not enough for people to not give me attention. I'm crazy as your average I'm not like any crazier. No, no, I'm not any crazier than like the normal girl. No, I think gym girls are like low crazier. Top tier. Do you, do you think I'm crazy? I, I don't know you like that. Gym girls are a little crazier. Hey, you don't know that. I don't know. I just want to be in love. Like what you and Sal have. You have that with... <laughs> Okay, pretend like, pretend like, like, I'm a girl at the gym, like, coming up to you, okay? Hey, excuse me, sir? How many more sets do you have? Can you get away from me? I'm doing my workout. Two? I'm not Can I work yet. in with you? Are you too weak to work in with me? That's L gym Riz, boys. Don't do that. You're a woman. See, if it were the other way around, this girl would be getting a restraining order on Bradley Martin just for talking to her at the gym. How often do you put guys in the friend zone? <laughs> Probably a lot. Why do you put him in the friend zone? Um, I don't know. I just... I, uh, relationships are scary. I want you to call one of those guys that's in the Allot group and ask him if he wants to hook up tonight. Let's get his raw reaction. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna call Will. Will, you're up, bud. I'm a spending, assuming speaker? Of course, yes. Oh, hello? Hello? Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm okay, you know, not doing great, but like, honestly, would love to hook up tonight, would love some s to make me feel better. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll, I'll let you know, alright? Yeah, you let me know, boy. <laughs> okay, bro. Deuces, dog. You all good, though? Yeah, sure, something right. like that. Okay. Alright, I'll see you then. Bye. Dang, she put him in the friend zone and he just put her right back in it. Want access to your bank account? I want an allowance so I can have my own I need to be taken care of financially, physically, emotionally, in every single way for me to take care of you as a woman. And that allowance is 20000 a month. Quarter million. If you would year. like to do more, I would be fine. A lot of these done nothing with their life and you mother stepping on them. What the f*** going on here? But you're sipping because you're a 
Loser! What is no. one thing women are better at than men? Uh, manipulating men. You said that you would date a guy in McDonald's. Here's the difference. If he had the TikTok followers, he had the money, and you worked at McDonald's, he would date you. <laughs> you selfish. <laughs> Never done that in your life. You never will. That's you will not never I mean, date a man in McDonald's, no matter how good looking he is. You money grubby. All I'm telling you guys is, you guys need to wake up. Okay, you think that men here are trash? And not I all men. Maybe most. Okay. Not. Just general men are trash. Yeah. We're told to kiss women's ass regardless of how they behave. And my thing is, I, I want guys to treat women accordingly. If she treats you poorly, sure, feel free to treat her poorly back or not give her any of your attention. Yeah, if you're not getting that reciprocation of you're doing all this and she's doing nothing, kick yeah. her to the curb. Now, what do you provide? That's what we're asking you. Everything. You find everything. I mean, there's a lot. Like, we got time. No, we, we got time today. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What do you bring to the table for that gentleman? My presence and motivation. Okay. What would he get in return for doing that for you? Um, my laugh. My smile. This is bad. I bring everything to the table. I'm special, number one. Okay. A staggering majority of women really don't bring much to men, men in relationships. Guys are so thirsty to get laid that they'll take whatever they can get. Well, yeah, I'm the table. Hey, I'm the table. I'm I bring a whole table. Can you describe what this table is then? Um, no, I honestly don't have a good argument for this. I'm only just yeah. Yeah. energy. I'm very like different. You guys are so willing to date and take women seriously. And don't do shit, you bro. Besides, have some some what do you bring to a guy like that? Me. Like the I don't, have, I don't I don't like that whole like Bruh. prove yourself. Yeah, just have but... a criteria to a man. It's like is this a job interview? What do I offer to my boyfriend? <laughs> my wisdom as a 31 year old. Very few men actually yes. put women's feet to the fire and make them earn it. That women want traditional men without being traditional women. And I think that's crazy because half of those women are bringing shit to the table. It seems that these modern women seem to be subscribing to a wish list relationship model, where they expect to be showered with everything they desire without bothering to check what they bring to the table. Why does it make a woman valuable mm -hmm. just because she got wifed up? Why can I not just be single for forever? Why well, can I could. not just you live could. my best you life could. for you forever? Could. Why can but I not be like be your best the 50 year old auntie yeah, who's taking trips? Yeah, it sounds good on paper for you to think that way. Women derive their true happiness from children in a family and having a strong masculine male by their side. Men, we're different. We get our happiness from kids and leaving a legacy behind, but also we get our true happiness from being on our purpose, creating. Women create children, men create things. Everything that you're seeing, touching, has all been created by men. Every person in this world has all been created by women. Make sense? Mm. So a man that's not creating anything is a man without purpose. Then he will experience depression, anxiety. He wouldn't have no direction in his life because he's not on his purpose. He's not creating. You get what I'm saying? So when you're 45 years old, been living your single life all these years, well, what did you create? What was your purpose? Yeah, you got a Gucci bag. Yeah, you slept with this been on that boat you've been in that yacht but you created nothing you waited so long all your eggs is gone you can't have babies so now you feel just like that dude that didn't create any resources didn't create anything so all human beings men have a natural proclivity is in us to provide and protect and to create things. Women have a natural proclivity that's in them to nurture and create human beings to create the next generation. Mm. You got it. Yeah, yeah. So. He's totally right here, yet many women will still think being single their whole life is the way to go. And but he takes steroids. Oh, <laughs> <It's 'cause six. laughs> Okay, explain it. Because if he takes steroids, steroids he's not even the main. He's trying, he's not even trying to get big for himself. He's being a wuss. Cheating his way through it. Are, are you guys against implants? No. No. I say do whatever the f on with your body. Body your choice, right? Yeah. Your body your choice. Ladies and gentlemen. Got him. Way to call out the double standard. Of course they thought implants were perfectly fine, but steroids weren't. Would you rather have this free Christmas present or see my eyes only? I have a girlfriend. I'm gonna just come and take this. What's in here? Nothing. It's just a sham. Sca <gasps> you f it was indeed a scam. How is she gonna do that to someone with a full-on girlfriend? Hello, Ewa Mami. Out of the 15 guys here, that's a lot of guys, you know what I'm saying? Which one do you think is the perfect match? I'll say him. All right, let's go up to him, let's go like, up to him. He's not too pretty and he's not ugly. Oh! oh! Him. What, him? Yeah. Mmm. Shock night, shock night. Shock night. Mmm. So, okay, why do you think? Wait, guys, keep it down, keep it down, keep it down. I, I think the girls wouldn't. So, why do you think you two would be a perfect match? He's tall. You know, I don't like short guys. Okay. Um, he's not too handsome, but he's still cute. Damn, I'm she just said saying you, you're kind of ugly, but you're cute. 
like it's just not like I don't like overly perfect guys. Oh, basically. Okay, 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 okay. So yeah. So Chuck Knight. And he's calm, like he's chill. He's not doing too much. Mm, okay, okay. So the question is, do you think you and A or Mami can be a perfect match? Or do you wanna leave a single and try your luck with somebody else? Mm. Do you want to go Oh. Oh. She's sexy. Mmm. Mmm. Nice, she's nice, she's nice, but no. Oh. Oh. He needs some milk. I did not expect it. Just look at her expressions at the end of the clip. She was completely shocked. She's about to go down in North Carolina. Let's go. Let's go. USA. USA. Again, you got to be careful. There's a shot. And keeper. Nice spin move here by Lloyd. Lloyd! Another shot! And a player's running off of him. It's a big ask, but... Well, there's Trundle able to turn. Trundle able to keep it. With the left and Trundle. So far, so good in this game. Trundle. Again, diving. And this... Murkoff trying to move around. And that's going to be... Murkoff takes that shot with the... And swinging to make that... Perfect contact. There's a turnover. Jarvis, there it is. 12 0. Wrexham defeats the U.S. There's really no equality in men's and women's sports. It always has been and will always be that way. Who controls access to men or women? Okay. Who controls access to relationships? You guys. Men do, right? So your power is in what? If I open my legs or not. Once you once you open your legs to me, who has the power now? You. Okay, so whose job is it to retain the other? Mine. Okay. You see? So yes, yeah, sure, it is a game. It might sound crazy, but it only sounds crazy to the women that are being played. But if you're playing your cards right, you have you have nothing to worry about me leaving. What, I, what I'm, I'm saying though is like, why would you want the girl to know that she's getting played? No, that's but that's what I'm saying. Specific kinds of girls don't get played. There's uh -huh. a very specific kind of girl that doesn't get played. The majority of girls do get played, but it's a very specific guy that can play him. The majority of men are invisible to him. An average woman will see past the majority of men because her eyes are a specific kind of man. Versus a man, and it's a specific kind of man, once he finds a specific kind of woman, he won't even think about playing her. He'll be like, right. nah, that's mine. Yeah. He won't let any, woman, any other man get him. This guy was just spitting facts, and the girls couldn't help but nod along. Mary Kill. Between. Your mom, your sister, your grandma. <laughs> no one, no one, no one. Why? I don't want to. Oh, and stuff. Yeah. You had to choose. Oh, well, that, You'll just die. Yeah. <laughs> I think I would do the same. What in the world is this type of question? Obviously, he isn't going to answer that one. I literally just wanted to cry. And then the nurse that was with him goes, oh, do we want to put her down for, like, weight loss? And he's like, no, let's just see how she does with the paper that he gave me. I know I need to lose weight, but I don't know. For reference, I'm 190. And I'm five, 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 six. You know, it's like if I say I need to lose weight, it's different than other people telling me. And I know he's my doctor, but. If you're trying to lose weight, you can't go against what the doctor says. Even if it's harsh, it's for your own good. Nigerian man, you know, so mm -hmm. it's a lot of people here, yeah, a lot of fine, fine girls. No, you got <laughs> Listen to him, bro. Do you take your mask? You look like a scammer. Why are you hiding your face? Because I'm a scammer. Oh! <laughs> British Fair enough. Mean, go for him straight. That's for one night. All right, cool. Um, yeah. I need someone that has the energy to handle a Yoruba demon. It looks like the brother will have to continue his search. Good luck, my man. Why don't you go down on girls? I don't go down on girls because I think the majority of the reason why men go down on women is to please his girl. And I don't think that your main purpose in a relationship is to necessarily try to please a woman, but to get her to respect you. Yes, if you choose to love eating box, you're a cookie monster, great. But I think a lot of guys do it because they're hoping this girl that doesn't like me, she can now all of a sudden like me if I do a good job. So you're putting yourself in a submissive role. If you just want to do it because you like doing it and you like the girl and she likes you, I have no problem with it. But I had the problem with guys doing it in hopes of getting the girl to like him. If you're basing how much she likes you off whether you go down on her or not, is she really even worth the time? You walk into a bar and you done 17 at the 
at the bar. It'll take a strong individual to be like, you know what, babe, you mine now. Actually, I would say Period. a very weak individual because a man that would take the woman that has a higher body count, he's actually insecure because he doesn't have a lot of options. Mm -hmm. Competence leads to accomplishments, which then leads to confidence. And when we got that confidence, right, and we accomplish some things, then we have options. And then we have an abundance mindset. And we have the ability to be intolerant of female inadequacies. So females tend to always speak about, right, of certain males that tolerate poor behavior and whole behavior from these promiscuous women. Those are the males that don't have the ability to be intolerant of those females' inadequacies. You feel what I'm saying? A man that has the ability that works for themselves, he's not dating a chick that's going to be snacking in Walmart. He's not going to be dating a girl that's working. He's not going to be dating a girl that's out at the club all the time. He's going to be dating that girl that's chilling, not doing too no, much. Girls with high body counts are for the weak. Find someone who truly loves you and doesn't give her body away like it's nothing. You went to your parents and you asked them, mm -hmm. you said, you know, I have a choice. I can either quit doing all of this tomorrow, right? And go get a job for like a tenth of this. Or I can continue to do this and send you money. Which one do you think they would ask? My mom would say, absolutely quit. My dad, he'd be like, oh my God, no. Why would you ever quit? Your dad would say that? My dad would say that I send money to my dad so that he can be comfortable with and like, he's, their he's family. he's a pastor? He, no, he's not a pastor anymore. They stopped being a pastor when I was like 18. Okay, but he so. was and he retained his faith, right? He did. He did. I'm his daughter, though. You know, I'm not just yeah. some stranger. He's like, you know what? If I, I want I her think, in my life... Doesn't that make it worse? <laughs> like, wouldn't that make it worse? Not. Don't you have to accept you your kids for, for who they no. are? No. Yeah. What? And so what? You would, no. So Good if question. you had a kid and they were doing OnlyFans, what, you just disown them? To Until they clean their life up, yeah. You're wow. a bad parent. Wow, that's My family that's would have absolutely My family would 100% just... What about that's you're a bad terrible. kid? No, oh. I... I don't think disowning your child is okay in any circumstance, but she should be informed about cleaning up her act. Saying that women today are not ready to be wives, I think, is not fair. Um, based upon what? Based upon... I understand that there's a sec sector of women who aren't ready to be married, but I think that um, making that general statement is not fair toward women. Oh, okay, and first off, are generalizations fair? No. How old are you? I'm 32. Generalizations are fair. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll concede to that. All what of percentage that, of women would you say are ready to be wives? I would say probably like 20%. Ma'am. 20% out of 100% of, out of 100%. If 80% are not, that means the, the, you just made my freaking point. Okay, but. No, no, um, no, no, let's, before we move, let's acknowledge the math. You can't, the math ain't mathing. You said that you're making an unfair generalization. Then I asked you if you thought generalizations are fair, you said no. And then we had to go acknowledge the fact that it's bullshit. If the majority of something is true, it doesn't have to be 100%, 51% will do. That's the majority. The presidency is decided by that little of a margin. Okay? That's okay. how the world works. And then I'm asking you, the person that says, I make the unfair generalization about a group of women. You tell me that 20% of said women are ready to be wives. That means you agree with me. Okay, but also, um, the, the, I would the, say... But does, the, but, does the, but, does the, but does the math support my logic? Yeah. Okay. okay. I, yeah, so, I'll agree with you on that point. Yes. Okay. She just proved his point and still thought she could outsmart him. How old are you? 19. What do you look for in a guy? Nice personality. They have to be tall. And they have to treat me well. If not, they're for the streets. What's wrong with a short king? It's not, there's nothing wrong. I just like, it's personal preference. It's the same way how if we were dating and I didn't want you to be like 250 pounds, that would be a personal preference too. No, because I feel like that's like, yeah, but I'm like, no. Why yeah, but no? Because like, it's calling someone fat. Yeah, but you can actually control your weight. You can't control your height. Yeah, but it's like something bad. Like, I feel like you don't get like that sad when someone tells you, oh, yeah, you're short. But if someone tells you you're fat, you're going to be overthinking it like forever. Yeah, but you can at least change it. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Girls who date a ugly guy just for the personality because I feel like most of us just look for good personality. But guys, if you don't look hot, you're not getting like they won't talk to you. Exactly as he said, you can do something about weight, but you can't do anything about height. How is her argument even logical in her own head? Can I ask you something? You oh. know, if you were at home speaking to your mom, 
Would you speak to her like this? Wouldn't be on a date with my mum though, would I? No, but not on a date. Like, it's just, just how you talk. Very monotone, very slow, very quiet. Yeah. Do you ever just get loud? Mm. Do you laugh? Do I laugh? Absolutely. Yeah. Do you laugh like, ha ha? See what I'm saying? I laugh more than most people. Do you? Mm hmm But I'm not about just in a conversation. You've not said anything funny. Wow. The only reason he'd be laughing is from being nervous here, and clearly he was not. See, you, you and I are married, okay? Mm hmm We have a son. That's my boy, mm -hmm. Kevin Jr. There comes a time where I say, something happens with Kevin Jr. And I'm going to say, go right. And you're going to say, go left. Both of us love our child's death. One of us has to pick. One of us wins. Which way do we go, right or left? I'm assuming it's automatically the direction that you said. I can't remember whether that was right or left. Why would we go your direction if I'm supposed to be leading my son and you? Do you think my direction is going to harm my child, my legacy? You think I want to put my future at risk? See, see how even you just, even the nature, you're in the passenger seat trying to put your hands on the driver's seat, trying to get us somewhere and you're going to kill us both. All he wants to do is help and she seems to be getting his message too. A lot of women in life don't know. Mm -hmm. They just don't know. And then there we they go don't. back to the same thing. Well, women just don't know. Are you a free woman with your own rights, beliefs? We so are right? free. That's okay, the thing. But you we can't... Just don't, we're not knowledgeable. Oh. We don't. So now you're not it's knowledgeable. How you're raised. So now you can't make it your is. own decisions. You see this? You can't sit here and place accountability on other people for your bad decisions, but then say that you have authority over your own life. It doesn't work that way. You can't say, oh, I f***ed up. Woe is me. It wasn't my fault. And then when you do something good, I did it on my own because I'm a strong, independent woman. You can't have it both ways. This is the difference between men and women men just take accountability when they oh I, when they do something good i did something well, good the thing but is when women as we just saw in real time what did she say woe is me i didn't know better i was just in love just take accountability dude because how are you going to self-improve without accountability there's no forcing function for self-improvement it doesn't feel good to hear it but you got to be willing to say damn i how do I better my behavior instead of saying it's all his fault because he was a bad man? Cool, but then you're going to go into another relationship with someone new and go into the same circumstance because you didn't learn anything. Sure, women are on their own, which means they're responsible for their own actions. He doesn't eat at Cheesecake Factory, so I took her to a five-star restaurant and she did this. Imagine if your date was eating like this. The worst part is he took her to a five-star restaurant. The least you could expect is some respect. Let us know your worst date stories in the comments below. You guys have made it to the end. Like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel in the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you should watch another one. Till next time.